to so there's some so Animal Jam updated and there's something called um the giant snake search thing. So I already have a snake throne. But this is from my other account. Just gonna place it down just because it's awesome. Okay, anyways. So we're going I'm going to record for you guys. So I I already know what's the correct answer for the game and stuff. So um I'm just gonna do all the wrong ones first and then and then do the correct one for you guys so that it will be more like cooler somewhat, somewhat like that. More like see what happens if you do that. Okay, let's get started. It's gonna load really slow. So yeah, it's gonna load really slow. I'm gonna stop the video till it finishes loading. Oh wow, it started before I'm just gonna you guys gotta wait for it to go, sorry. Oh, hurry up. What is this? Ah, oh well. I've got a lot of experience in dealing with giant snakes. Oh yeah. And it seems like I've been getting a lot of questions lately on just that topic. Giant snakes. Hey, what's up with giant snakes? Hey, Dr. B, what's a constrictor? Constrictors are snakes that use their powerful muscles to kill prey. They wrap up these animals in their powerful coils and then put on the big squeeze. That's called constricting. How strong are pythons and how hard do they squeeze? Squeeze force. Yeah, yeah, squeeze force of giant snakes. That's a great question, and we can answer that question, because I know that I've got some stuff here in my lab that I can make into a squeeze force meter. I've got an old piece of exercise equipment, which I can modify and turn into an awesome scientific device. That looks wrong. I think we can pull this thing <laughs> off. But I can't do it by myself. We're going to have to work together to succeed. You see, you are going to have to make critical decisions in every step along the way, which will determine whether we succeed or fail in our quest to find a giant python and measure its squeeze force. Uh, that's chapter. So so I'm going to just re see how many chapters this recording session can go. To make things easier for us, I got a secret weapon, this map. You see, years ago in the wilds of Borio, a wise old man gave me this secret old map. And he said, use it if you ever want to find a jump set. If we look at the old map, there's a number of places we can check out. We can go to the dry desert, maybe the cold mountains like Mount Shir Jama, or how about the swamp forest? It's up to you. Where do you think is the best place to look for a giant python? I wonder if different places leads to different things. Um, I know this is the correct answer, so I'm gonna try the hot desert and see what happens if it leads all the way to the swamp. Desert? It's just too hot and dry for big constricting snakes. It's too hot and dry for me, Jim. Make another choice. Make another choice. Oh, that's what it is. It's my cold mountains now. I wonder if the number of mountains. Too cold for snakes here. Snakes are from where it's warm. Too cold for me here, and I'm warm blooded. Snakes are cold blooded, they're found where it's warm. Make another choice, make another choice. Yeah, see? Okay, so I wonder if the, how many mistakes you got wrong and stuff. That's a stuff good decision, gives you the like. Because big pythons are really heavy, and they noise? like to use water to help support their weight. So yeah, water I'm, that you I'm find just trying in to a get a force. gray and black. One. Great choice. Friend got upgraded block on the one I 
want it. Instead, I got a blue and brown one. Uh, if you want to, want to try to blue, my blue and brown one for, and you have a black and gray one, then um, wow, then just just a uh, message to me on AG say let's trade oh, look at that. let's trade or if a member see? just say look hey I want you I want you snake throw and they just add just what do you send think me a bunny lives in these holes these might be spider holes like giant spiders oh, I'm scared spiders yes. All okay bugs. it's up to you how should we investigate these mystery holes? Should I stick my arm deep inside yeah. and feel around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or should I stick my head in yeah. and look and see if anyone's at home? Or use a stick and poke around inside? It's your decision. Let's see what happens when we get... Okay, let's see what happens when you put a hand in there. So, this is the correct one. I just realized something. This was the correct one and now this is the correct one. Oh, this is creepy. I'm gonna back up. Stick my arm inside the hole and feel around. Seriously? Yikes! I don't know if that's a good decision or not, but I guess I'm willing to give it a try because you're making the decisions. Here goes nothing. Ooh! 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 That was a fake centipede. Cause yeah. <laughs> Stick my face inside and look around. Oh, that can't be good. Here goes nothing. That is so fake. That is so. Is this one? I want to see if that said that he was more. Stick my arm inside the hole and feel around. Seriously? Yikes! I don't know if that's a good decision or not. But I guess I'm willing to give it a try because you're making the decisions. Here goes nothing. Ooh. 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 Tree first. 
Count this is the correct answer. Don't say You're that so I'm lost. dumb. You I'm just showing you what happens if you pick well, it for you guys. Moss sometimes grows on the north side of a tree, but not always. And I'm not even sure what type of moss you're supposed to look at. Like this kind of moss? Ooh, that feels good. That is nice and soft. I like that. But I don't think this is going to tell us anything. You need to make another choice. Man, I hope that's not that poisonous moss. I'm feeling a little itchy. Ugh. Five more minutes to recording. I think I had to stop for the chapter. Two sticks? Great idea. Because there's actually a way to determine direction with nothing but two sticks and the sun if it's a sunny day, like we've got today. Here's how you do it you take one stick and you stick it in the ground like that. And as you see, the stick casts a shadow. You place something where that shadow is. Here's a pine cone. We're going to put that right there. Now comes the fun part. We have to wait 15 minutes. Wait 15 minutes? Hmm. Okay. Two six, and I can't believe two six on the sun is the correct one. Well, compass is too, but whatever. Oh, wow, that's cool. But you have to wait 15 minutes. The snake's already gone, dude. Oh, uh, two more minutes of recording. Let me just put the pies on there. See, now you're like using this. a compass. This is really starting to look good. This is looking more and more like good snake habitat. And oh my goodness, you hear that? That's birds. That's a lot of birds. I think we're coming up on the bird rookery. A bird rookery is a place where a lot of birds get together and make their nests. Yeah, the birds are getting louder. It's just up ahead. And where you find birds, you find snakes. Whoa! Look at all the birds! This is definitely the rookery. And they're all nesting. That's what a rookery is. Man, I see lots of birds. But a snake, it would seem dinner. This is a good place to look. We gotta keep our eyes open. Great thing about bird rookeries, oh no, lots more of snakes. Minute, minute, minute. Bad thing about bird rookeries, lots of birds. Please finish. Oh, I hate that stuff. Finish chapter five before it's gone. Thirty more seconds. We gotta keep our oh, eyes open. Hurry up! Bird rookeries are great places. Okay. Okay. Twenty seconds. Rookeries. <coughs> Finding snakes is never easy. That's because they're so well camouflaged. We'll watch it next time. Bye.